Robert Ashton had a little bit of a break yesterday, but windy and, and warm again today. Yeah, that's right. And as a result, the fire danger is soaring once again, Dominic. Over Lookout Mountain, we have a few uh, clouds mixed in with some sunshine. Sun's going to be up and now uh, with us through 740. As we go through time this afternoon and especially into this evening, I think we'll have more and more cloud cover. The wind will also get stronger with time. For now, most of us have light wind. It's fairly pleasant outside for the time being. Ken up in Sterling uh, has 66 degrees there in northeast Colorado in Logan County. I do want to remind you that April is typically a pretty wet month for us. In fact, it's our fourth wettest month of the 12 each year. And when it comes to snow, we average about nine inches in April. It's the second snowiest month. And usually we get most of the snow that we get in April in the first half of the month. So this has been an unusual April in the sense of how dry it's been. And that has been dry because the storms just keep missing us. They're just going too far north to bring Denver moisture. We're just getting the wind. We've had only one hundredth of an inch of uh, liquid moisture this month. That's about an inch below normal here where we're at through the 19th. And for the year, we're still doing OK, thanks to uh, all the wet weather we had back in February and March. But uh, in another few days, we're going to start to see uh, the uh, below normal numbers as well for annual precipitation for 2022. Red flag warning goes until 8 p.m. for all the areas, of course, shaded in the red color. Most of the eastern plains, most of southern Colorado, a good chunk of the western slope. Here in the Denver metro area, the red flag warning includes Jefferson and Boulder counties, all of Lammer County, and most of Douglas and uh, Elbert counties included here as well. So Castle Rock, Southeast Aurora, Parker, you're included, Lakewood, Arvada, up into Wheat Ridge, humidity under 15% and wind gusts as high as 40 miles per hour. Most of that wind's going to come after 3 p.m. Temperatures today will top out in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. We're already well on our way. It's 75 degrees right now, downtown Denver. Sterling should get to around 81, 85 in Lamar, 87 in La Junta, 50s and a few 60s in the mountains. Cold front passes by tonight. It's a pretty weak front. It's going to drop us about 10 degrees, so we'll be closer to 70 for tomorrow. That front was in Boise this morning. It is just making its way into the Salt Lake City area right now. Should be in Denver by 1 or 2 a.m. tonight at the latest. And then that front will make its way into the Midwest where it will encounter much better moisture and generate a lot of rain. Unfortunately for us, there's just not much moisture for that front to work with. So for the vast majority of us, we're going to stay completely dry tonight and really through at least Friday afternoon. The one exception to our dry forecast is the mountains, mainly north of Interstate 70 and certainly north of Highway 50. Overnight tonight, we will see a few rain and snow showers. Initially, it's going to be rain from mountain towns. That'll turn into some snow very late tonight, but just not much accumulation. Steamboat Springs could maybe get an inch or two and passes like Birth Aid and Rabbit Ears could maybe get up to two, three inches of snow. That would be it. So 79 degrees today in Denver, quite warm. Tomorrow back down to 70, and then we return to near 80 for both Thursday and Friday. Uh, Dominic, you'll notice we've got Friday red. There's already a first alert weather day for Friday because of the extreme fire danger that we're expecting. Fire danger is high today. It's going to be even higher on Friday, and that's ahead of a storm that will bring us cooler weather for the weekend, and let's hope a little bit of moisture on Saturday. Yeah, anything we can get 